Hello, I'm MJ Hill, CEO of rent a clown Entertainment. And many of you know me as Diamonds, the Magical Clown. And I am very popular because I perform magic with a real life bunny rabbit. And the question that I'm going to be answering today is, how can I get a pet for my children that is easy to take care of? And immediately what came to my mind is a bunny rabbit. So I've had my bunny, well, not this particular bunny rabbit, but um, for the past 20 years, I've had, you know, a, a series of bunny rabbits because their life expectancy, you know, for, from what I've read is about nine years. So that being said, I made a previous video and the video was, um, there were some things that I needed to clarify. A viewer commented on the video and she let me know that there were some things that I said that needed to be clarified. Well, allow me to do it now. When I referred to a bunny rabbit as a low maintenance rabbit, what a low maintenance pet, what I'm saying is, that I'm comparing it to a dog. A dog, you have to walk a dog, you have to you know, groom the dog or take him to the groomers. You know, there's so much that you have to do with the dog. Now, don't get me wrong, I love dogs because I, I've had dogs as a child, I've had dogs. But I am telling you, the expense of a dog is more. You know, rabbits are more independent. And like I said, don't get me wrong, I like dogs. And if that fits into your lifestyle, that is fine. But if there are parents out there who are thinking, oh, you know, I don't want to shell out a lot of money and, you know, I don't want the kids to let the responsibility fall on me. You know, it is a big responsibility to have a pet. But I feel that uh, having a rabbit is a low maintenance pet. So the first thing on my list is do not get a rabbit from a pet store. Get it from a breeder. It will be way more expensive to buy it from a pet store. Pet store is going to be over $100. A breeder is going to be maybe $30, $35. Now, before you get the pet, you may want to add up the cost of, you know, the rabbit hut, the travel bag, the food. You might want to add up the cost to see, you know, if this is the right pet for you. Now, second on my list is a travel bag. You want a travel bag because you want to have something to put the rabbit in when you pick them up from the breeder. You want to have something to have the rabbit travel from place to place when you're going to and from the vet. So you can find a travel bag at the pet store. The third thing is a cage. You can look on the internet and get a rabbit hutch or you can get a rabbit cage. What I did was I had someone build a rabbit cage for me. My rabbit cage is four feet long, two feet wide, and it's two feet high because what I do is I put something over, I put a long cardboard, you know, um, this, I put cardboard over the rabbit cage so that he can't hop out. Because if I didn't have this, he can hop out of it. So that's what I do. Now, the best case scenario is if your child uh, 
wants the rabbit, you can put the rabbit in your child's room and just block it off. You might want to block it off with some boxes or storage containers or whatever. But, you know, uh, if you want to have the rabbit in your child's room, that's fine. Uh, what I did a few years ago is the place where I was staying, I had uh, an entire room dedicated to the rabbit. Okay. Now, uh, the place that I'm in now is smaller than the previous, but um, I do find time to let my rabbit get out and exercise. And that brings me to the next uh, thing on my list, exercise. Uh, it's recommended that rabbits get four hours of exercise a day. Now, I know people who they let their rabbit have one hour of exercise, two hours, three hours. You know, it depends on what fits into your lifestyle. Me personally, I let my rabbit out, you know, whenever I can. And my rabbit will let me know when he's tired of being in his cage, he will stomp his feet. There have been times that I felt like I didn't want to you know, let him out because I was tired. I didn't want to watch him for, you know, a period of time. So uh, my rabbit will stomp his feet and he won't let me go to sleep until I let him out. So that's what I did. That happened a few times. And since I don't like, uh, I don't like having my rabbit you know, stomp his feet and make noise in his cage, I make sure that I let the rabbit out for exercise. Okay, uh, now when it comes to his food, what I do is I give my rabbit hay because it is recommended that they have hay because they have to have something to gnaw on. Their teeth are continuously growing. And so what I do is some experts say, give your rabbit more hay than pellets. What I do is I do 50% hay, 50% pellets. And then every once in a while for a treat, I will give my rabbit a carrot, not a whole carrot. I might like cut it in half or if it's already a baby carrot, one of those small baby carrots about like maybe an inch long, give that to the rabbit. Uh, when I don't have any carrots, I'll give them some green leafy vegetables. But whatever you do, don't give the rabbit too much or else the rabbit may develop diarrhea. And once a rabbit develops diarrhea, there's nothing you can do to stop that. You don't want your rabbit to get diarrhea. Now, rabbits in the wild, uh, they are totally different than domestic rabbits. You know, you can, if you want to Google you know, why domestic rabbits or what the difference is, you can do that. But trust me, you don't want to give your rabbit too many vegetables. Okay, now, water dish. You want your rabbit to have access to clean water instead of a water bottle. The water bottle, they tend to nibble on that. And even if your rabbit doesn't nibble on it, many times the water probably cannot get out fast enough or give him enough water. But I would just recommend a water dish instead of a water bottle, all right? Now, um, earlier when I mentioned about exercise, you also wanna get your rabbit some toys. Little, they have little colorful wooden toys at the pet store. And they have this one toy that is round, is made of hay. And at the center of that toy, it, they have like a little chewy treat for your rabbit. And judging from my rabbit's behavior, they seem to really like that. It's a lot of fun for rabbits. Okay, now, um, seventh on my list is veterinarian. You wanna take your rabbit to a veterinarian who has experience 
experience in rabbits because not all of them do because uh people usually have like uh, dogs cats you know gerbils animals like that there are some veterinarians who don't have experience with rabbits so you want to make sure to ask that question all right now eighth on the list is uh, rabbits have sensitive skin. They have sensitive skin, which means if it's 80 degrees outside, do not put your rabbit in one of those little uh, play pens for pets outside in 80 degree weather. Your rabbit could get dehydrated and die. So do not sit your rabbit outside in hot weather. Now, number nine is grooming. Grooming. All you need is a brush. All you need is a brush to brush your rabbit. And the last thing on the list is do not give your rabbit a bath. Do not give your rabbit a bath because if water should happen to get in your rabbit's nose or ears, it, that's not good. You don't want your rabbit to have an ear infection. There are plenty of reasons why not to give your rabbit a bath. You can Google them. Why shouldn't I give my rabbit a bath? You can Google. But let me just say this. When an animal gets sick, those vet bills can be very expensive. Hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars, depending on what is wrong with the animal or the pet, I should see what's wrong with your pet. Okay, so I can tell you this, um, the rabbits that I have had in my lifetime, uh, they've, never, they've never gotten sick. I only had one situation where the rabbit that I have now, he had um, some kind of, <clears throat> He had some kind of problem with his eye, some kind of cyst on his eye. He had to have surgery, and that cost $300. But I've had my rabbit for about five years now. Had him for about five years. And, you know, like I said, I enjoy my rabbit. The kids at the birthday parties, they enjoy my rabbit. You know, they enjoy seeing Diamonds, the Magical Clown, produce a real live bunny rabbit from an empty box. They love that. <clears throat> and I can tell you that uh, I used to have birds, but the kids were so afraid of birds. So no one's afraid of cute little furry bunny rabbit. So anyway, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you like, share, and subscribe to my videos. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.